How do you calculate numbers for a rental property? Hey everyone, Nick Good here with the Good Home Team, and my goal is to become your go-to real estate expert, not just here in Dallas-Fort Worth, but all over the United States. So please make sure to leave a comment, make sure to subscribe to this channel uh, for all real estate-related videos just like this one. Look, we've all been told that real estate investments can be a great way to earn passive income. But look, you need to be really, really careful because not all rentals, not all real estate investments are the same. So you need to be able to identify which ones makes sense financially. That can change based on uh, various factors, but the main way to determine if any investment will be a good one is to run the numbers, right? The numbers don't lie. The first thing to do is figure out how much your rental income is going to be, then find out your operating expenses, and of course, at the end, your mortgage payment or debt services. The tricky part of this is determining your expenses. So of course, it's always, it's always possible for unexpected things to pop up, but here are just a few common expense examples that you should factor in. So number one is accounting for vacancies, right? You're not... Unfortunately, you're not always going to be 100% rented out, so you got to, you got to account for uh, that downtime that you don't have a renter in there. Fees on property management companies, that is if you want one, and, and if, if you do want a property management company, I do have a great one that I partner with. It's called Homeward Property Management. I'd be happy to make an introduction uh, to you, um, and they do an amazing job to manage that and leverage out your time. The other fees to factor in are leasing fees. Repairs, not every, unfortunately, not every tenant is going to take care of the property in probably the manner that you would if it was your own home. Uh, insurance, taxes, utilities. So if you want to discuss any other potential expenses, first off, please reach out to me. Uh, I do own close to 300 rental properties, so I know a lot of the pitfalls. I know a lot of the expenses to factor in. And then next thing to, to, to really look at is this is where the math comes into play. Right, so I recommend you calculate um, your your net operating income, and then with your cash flow. So for the first equation, all you're simply going to do is subtract, uh, su subtract your expenses from your rental income, and that equals your net income. Then you take that number, the net income that we just that we just came up with, and you deduct it from your mortgage payment. And that's going to leave your overall cash flow. So this is what you would have left over after paying all the bills. If those two numbers, by the way, don't end in a positive number, then you need to run far, far away from it. That means that this property or that property is not the right investment uh, for you. So look, real estate investing entails a lot of subjective and, and really confusing things. So I recommend getting advice from an expert and I would be honored and I would love to be able to help you out with that. So if you really want really, really want to learn real estate investment, if you want that to be your passive income, if you want that to be a way to really maximize your retirement or you want to leave something behind for your kids or your for your family, please reach out to me. My number's below. You can always message me or you can go to our website, thegoodhometeam.com. Thank you again so much for watching. Again, my name is Nick Good with The Good Home Team, and our goal is to be able to assist and serve you for all your real estate needs, not just real estate investing, all across Texas and throughout the United States. So please let me know, let me know if you have any questions, and you can always contact me. You can message me here on YouTube, or if this was an email, just reply back. And I'd love the, the opportunity to work with you in the future. Have a great day.